Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the best apps of the week on my Galaxy Nexus, so let's do it to it. Well, what do you know? It's the Cool Loser for show. Here on Cool Loser Tech, let's stop the show. And for the best live wallpaper of the week, it is called Next Time Tunnel Live Wallpaper. You scroll, it kind of like hurries it up if you, you know, slow mo move up and down on it. Alrighty, let's get it on with the best apps of the week now, shall we? And I'll start it off with Next Launcher 3D. Okay, so you're looking at my stock launcher right now. You know, I always have it this way. But now let's go into Next Launcher 3D. The icons are different and the transitions are different when you scroll the screen. I have it on randoms. Here's your app drawer, so if you click on it, you have this little random effect as well. You can change it to however you like. And yes, it is made by Go Team. And you have tabs right here to go home, go back. You see the effects. Like if you actually pay attention, there's really cool effects to it. And it's really light still. And you can see that you can pick the pages of which ones you want to have it on. If you want to drag up and say you want to send this out there. It does have a whole bunch of widgets that you'll be able to download. These are all just examples. I'm not going to go too much into it, but you can see you can go in themes. So if you don't like the way this looked at all, there's a whole bunch of that you can change and get more themes. And let's hold this and you will see that it has effects right there that you can actually drag it out anywhere where you want. So you don't have to have it all and the little grid. You're really gonna have to test it out for yourself to go do it. Next up, we have Next Browser. If you do a lot of browsing on your phone, then you might love this a lot. Here's like your front page where like, kind of like apps or extensions that you can have on here. So right now we're in Google, right? What I noticed right away when you use this, it is so smooth, like buttery smooth. And then you can scroll out here and you can go to all your tabs. If you have multiple tabs, you can create a new one right now or just click back into it. And if you slide to the right, you will see more extensions that you can download. And it just goes to your favorites, your home, or go back. Before I go, I want to go to the preferences where you can go to the search engine. You can change this, the display, the privacy, the exit settings. And when you download stuff, it'll have its own little path where you can choose where to download. And you can see all the stuff you download. Bookmark Sync. This is one of the best parts of it. If you use Chrome browser on your computer, on your phone, whatever you're logged into or saved to, this application actually syncs to your, your Gmail account, so you got your bookmarks available on this browser. I think I might be using this as my next browser. Haha. <laughs> Go try it out for yourself. Automated. I don't know how to say it. Anyways, I think you guys are going to love this the most. When you start this application, it's going to teach you what you need to do. Actually, I'm going to go into the, my rules right now. When you're in here, the rules that I've downloaded and what it comes with, this has features that will actually tell your phone what to do at certain times when you plug things in and there's no root needed. It's just like Tasker, but easier and friendlier. So you see, here's the stuff that I have it disabled. This option right here was whenever 10 p.m. hit at nighttime, my volume will turn down so I won't hear anything and it'll turn back up once it's like eight in the morning. This application will do it all for you. Now here's the actives and you will see that there's a whole bunch of different things like vibrate on charge. My phone doesn't tell me anything when I'm charged. I just have to look at the little notification and see if it's charging. Now I can choose if I want a noise or a vibration whenever I charge it. So now I got that effect. Here's my rules market. When you're in here, it's going to retrieve all the latest stuff that people are making. So you can make your own task here that people can download. But you can just go into what's the top rating, Bluetooth device connection, you go to the more. If you can't find your phone, you can have this one right here. You send a text message, it'll actually be tons of stuff you're going to find on here. You guys have to try this. And once you're ready, you just want to press download rule to the rule making or editing and stuff. It's awesome. Go try it out for yourself. Next up, we have App Trailers. Gives you reward points for watching commercials or downloading apps and signing up for things. And you actually legitimately get paid and for rewards. I mean, you can redeem stuff like that. Inviting friends, and I will show you invite friends. You invite people, you get points. Like, that's how much points you will get per person. So if you get a lot of people to join, you'll be able to redeem free app of the day. You'll see here. And then go to the offers. If you sign up for things, you get more points, like a thousand points, 250. And then what can you get with these points? There's a redeeming. You can actually gamble your points to win more points. It'll tell you how much you can make through PayPal. Get Amazon gift cards, a thousand point scratchers, Starbucks, Best Buy. I mean, it's legitimate stuff here that like you make money by redeeming points, but it's going to take you a long time. You need to do a lot of work on here to make a lot of money. So you guys might know how to work it better. I just quickly went through it and it looked cool and it's legit and reviews are nice. So if you want it, go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Hangouts. Do you guys 
ever use talk application you know when you're going through here in your applications there'll be a talk or a google talk i don't know how it's going to say in yours i use it all the time now what google did is replace talk well they're rolling it out right now for everyone to use and talk right here is called hangouts now i'm going to go in this side and you'll see recently contacts and then you'll see all your contacts just going down the list right so drag out this way and these are conversations that you've had going to here i sent him and tried out and you can video chat with these people now if you couldn't before you'll be able to do it now and you can send them pictures let's select this you see google plus photos take a photo other photos and this was something that you could not do with google talk before send pictures i'm gonna press send another cool thing about it is whenever you add more people you can add multiple groups and actually 10 people talking at the same time. Hangouts is a cool little improvement. I do miss some little things where I can see if they were online or not and their status is now. I don't see that anymore. If you're not ready to leave that, then don't update this application, but most likely they're rolling it out for everyone. And supposedly there's a rumor and hopefully it does happen that they're gonna integrate Hangouts with your text messages. Their instant messenger through their text messages is rumored out to work like that soon in the future. So go do it to it. Next up we have Reddit Illustrated. Now those of you guys who understand what Reddit is, it's like a social network picture sharing, Instagram, Twitter, uh, it's just a whole bunch of stuff that you'll see together and you can read a whole bunch of other news and stories You're gonna have to do your homework and understand what reddit is But you don't have to have an account you can use this without having it and what's really cool is that it's live shares These three business go together like peas on a pod. It says bankruptcy divorce and liquor like, look at this picture right there, it's kind of funny. And also you'll find videos on here once you click on them They'll play on your browser or whatever service you want to go through it'll play through and you can go into here and see what's hot new rising controversial top it's actually really nice because it has the cards where if you want to hide or save i mean it's kind of like google now the card slide just looks nice to see go into your settings here into your settings disable these if you want and enable card swiping and disabling and stuff like that through here it's pretty cool definitely go try it out for yourself here next we have clutch for people who love shopping online and comparing prices but this one has a really cool feature where you can add your cards and like your Google wallet or gift cards or your credit cards and, and other stuff and coupons so whenever you shop this stuff and you can redeem your stuff to buy through this application you can compare the prices you can scan the product or you can search for the product and you can see more deals if you want to shop through stores or the deals you'll be able to see it through there and then going to what's nearby I want to see what kind of good deals are in my area so then I can see my local restaurants and stores and then shopping feed if you click into here you will see people uploading their own products that they love and they're sharing with you like saying oh check out these boots this is where you get it this is what the price that as you see here there's a canon right there the camera i'm using now is actually a canon and like this one you can press save create a new collection of likes let's press like so it saves in the like section and you can comment or hashtag and see activity on there and once you're ready you can press buy and it'll take you to the area where you could find out where it was and how much if this sounds something interesting you know what to do go do it to it next up we have gps navigation and maps those of you guys who somehow don't like using Google Maps, this is another alternative application right here. Now I used it for a couple days and see if it would replace mine. Uh, it doesn't replace Google Maps for me, but there is really cool functions that might, you know, have better than Google Maps. Now going to here, you will see you go navigate, which will enter where you want to go and address search, a local search, category search. So if you go to categories, you'll see that you can choose between two miles, five miles, 20 miles, and what do you want to you know, do? If you wanna go shopping, you wanna go nightlife, public, and you can go through this little, little window, go to fast food area right here. So if you wanna go to Baja Fresh, it's calculating the route. You see it's gonna count down and it will speak. Please. Turn left. You'll be able to see and listen to this lady. You can actually download different voices that you like. Audio off, night mode, reload. You can choose what kind of routes you would like the fastest or avoiding things and the panning and the 2D and the volume. And you also get to rotate the camera around. Not the camera, but the map. And there's a rounding and coordinates and favorites and contacts and offline maps that you'll be able to download. And it does give you that iPhone look to it. So go try it out for yourself. And last but not least, we have WWE. 
You're welcome with a cool little intro. So this is for my young viewers. A lot of you guys still like wrestling. Parents, if you have kids who are into wrestling and they have cell phone, tablet, share this application with them. Let's go into the raw and you see here are the videos and there's more photos and it's really slick UI. So it's very easy for them to learn and read and stuff. Go to the SmackDown and you can click on a video. Watch up here. Very quickly. And then you can share. It's still real to me, damn it! So if you're a fan of wrestling still, this application should be great. You don't need to log in or do anything fancy. And that concludes today's top 10 apps. So there you guys have it. These were the best apps of the week right of Google Play, brought to you by me, the Coozer. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to spread the word. Can you tell me if people are watching these at the end? Because I think it's important if you're going to wonder what's happening for the next week. I usually talk in advance. So if I say uh, next week, I'm probably not going to upload. Because last time I said I'm going to do my next videos all games and people are wondering did you stop doing apps how come you're not doing it anymore people are questioning me when they could easily have you know found out at the end of the video and if you want to find out even more follow me on twitter facebook google plus i post all my updates on there well you know usually i always do so you'll get all the news there and you can contact me in there if i don't answer you on the comments which i'm sorry but i read every single comment don't give up if i haven't answered it I'll get to you some other time or in another video. So tune in next time on Thursday. As you notice, if I don't post on Mondays, I do Tuesdays. If I don't post on Thursdays, I do Fridays. All right, I'm carrying this on for too long, so I gotta go, and I shall see you next time. Later.